I'm just going to pretend that is rather short. Sorry. Um, it's very short, but very inspiring, very dramatic. 47. 47. Yeah, it's, uh, this is the capital everyone would recognize. That we say it before the Kiyos HaShoifer, on Rosh Hashanah, sometimes. <laughs> and uh, if you can have in mind, some of the Kavanas will be disgusting, you know, on Rosh Hashanah. It uh, took a whole other level, you know, it's like really up there. It's, uh, it's, it's similar, it's kind of carrying on the... Um, the uh, this is a... Uh, trend in this, this particular part it's talking about the, the, most of the people are talking about Mashiach you know Mashiach coming in the times before Mashiach you know, the elevation that's going to take place when Mashiach comes so that's a lot of what uh, this, this one is dealing with uh, a lot of Gematrius and a lot of Seamus so this is really uh, instructive to uh, get more out of it it takes the way out of the shot that's for sure but the, the shot is and this one is, if you want to talk about Pshat, it's, it's more like, um, uh, well, we'll see. There's also an interesting thing that I, that I uh, just learned this week, uh, um, Parshas Chikas, a shtikl from Kedishas Levi, which also works in very nice. Ways. Bring that in. I don't understand that. What do you mean There's a, there's a piece of the, the Sefer, Kedishas yeah. Levi, but it's uh, Parshat Levi, Parshat Chukas. Oh, okay. Right. From his sacred, he has a beautiful Torah which fits in very nicely. Oh, okay. So you tell us that after like that? Yeah, I'll take it in where, where it's appropriate. Oh, okay. We'll see the connection. Anyway, um... So this is another one of the Livnei Koirachs. So we have a number of them there. All right, and again, he uh, he interprets the word Lam Natseach, separates the Lamed Mem from the Netzach. Lamed Mem is, is the uh, Zerampi, that's 70, which is 7 times 10. So that's the Lamed Mem, and the Netzach is the Netzach. So Mizmoy, he says Gematrius, the word Mizmoy, Mizmoy with the Gematria, and the Oisius, and the word, and the two Koilim, is 300. 300, it's Mizmor. Yeah, it's Mizmor. Which is the Shem Elakim when you fill it up with it, when you have a Mili, which includes the Yud. So uh, the, the Mili of the Shem Elakim is the Yud also. And this, uh, the Shem Elakim is talking about Malthus. Maya Malthus. So Malchus is, is, can be called a Lakim, it's also very often Ad, the Shem Ad, Al Dalim and Yud, and that we'll get into later, he brings that down also. But a lot of times it's the uh, Shem Elohim because Shem Elohim is Midas Adin, and the Midas Adin is also uh, associated with the Shechina. It can go both ways. But the, the whole idea of Amtokas Adinim is, uh, there's two aspects of it, but one of the aspects is, to, is um, in terms of, uh, of the Shechina, is in terms of, there's a Shechina Ilua and the Shechina Tatua. So the the Shechina, you know, the higher Shechina and the lower Shechina. So the higher Shechina is Bina. So we talk about elevating things up to the level of Bina, and that's the one aspect of Amtokas and Dinam, because that's where the Dinam come down from, that's, where they, that's their origin, that's their source. And the other one is, uh, is in, on the level of Malthus, which is the, since Malthus uh, is kind of in the shkocha on the world, that's the, he's really overseeing everything that happens in the world. That's, that's Malthus, it's, it's on the bottom. So that can go either way. It tends towards Din, because it's, it's in the Kava, it's, it's a feminine aspect, which, is, which is, that tends towards Din. But through the Zivig with Teferis, it gets pushed over to the, to the it's called Amtuka, that it sweetens it and it, it comes out. So that's the whole. The whole thing is really going on is trying to elevate the shechina to get to a higher level, and then it's, it brings down the shefa, and that's, that's what's going on in this kapitulus. The whole thing about that. Okay. So um, so when this is the, at the time that the, that the punin of Malchus, the pnei Malchus, we're not talking about the backside of Malchus, we're talking about the front of the, 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 the face of Malchus is being uh, illuminated by the Shin Ayin Ahoy, 370 lights, which is, okay, so that's the Bnei Koyra. So, Koho Amim Tikuchav. So we're going to be working with this, this uh, uh, word, Amim, and what does it mean in the context? Amim comes up a few times. 
uh, because we really, because remember, this is uh, in the context of we're talking about the Rosh Hashanah. So the Amim, of course, is the the Surim, the Mala. Those are the, it's talking about the, the Umas Oilam, and that's the the opponents in the sense. Uh, uh, opponents, yes. in the sense, are, are the, you know they're the ones who bring the kitrick. So we have to. No, I'm no, I'm. Can you like, a, like a, Thank like a, you. take a phone call? No, I want to do it. I want to show them. I was just joking, please. I don't, don't take this. <laughs> So the, the concept is that we're having to, well, that these are our, you know, challengers in Shemaim. We're trying to uh, uh, overcome and, and, and kind of vanquish them. We're supposed to be, you know, we want to come up on top. And they're the ones that are, that are constantly trying to bring us down. So that's, that's the dynamic of what's going on here. So this is, this is, uh, this is, this is what the, the whole Tikkis Shoifer is about, like, you know, breaking some tuckers at dinner and breaking through and, 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 and in Magbil, you know, oh. keeping keeping the dinam in their place, really. Avram Yitzchak Yaakov, and also Avram Yitzchak and, and David, Avram Yitzchak, uh, Avram Yitzchak Yaakov and David. So Yitzchak is the, the din in the middle, and we're trying to, you know, with the Tikkias, we're we're keeping that uh, bound a boundary on each side, so it doesn't get out of hand. So anyway, Amim. So he says here, this is this, um, Amim here is, is Gematria 160. Amim is 160. Right, which is the Gematria of Yosef with the letters. Okay, 6 plus 4, which is Yosef. You know that Yosef is the leader of Yosef, which we've talked about many times. Yosef is the Tzaddik. So that's, so it's this Tiku Kaf. Tiku the Kaf. So Tiku is the Shon, is the Shon of Zibi. The word tiku is the idea of zibik. So it's a, it's a, because the Pasuk in Yavoma says, it's the idea of zibik. Kaf is the Yosoid of Malchus, and that is an idea of Mikabal. So like a kaf is a spoon, right? And it's Mikabal, it's, it's a vessel that, that uh, receives. So that's the idea of, of that it's that the kaf in this, the Yosoid is mashpia, Malchus receives, Malchus is the kaf. Um, so Malchus, it's a whole thing that's kind of difficult to understand, but there's, there's an idea of a Malchus is like a door which has one, um, one hinge, which is the Asoid. Asoid so uh, is always something that connects one thing to another, so you can think of a door hanging on a... On it's a, unstable. Uh, uh, huh? It's unstable. It's not, yeah, it's not balanced. It's, it's not, yeah, but whatever it is, it's the idea is connected to the threshold with the, with the, with the, with the hinge, right? So the, the hinge is like the assault. That's connecting the door to the, to, the, to the frame of the door, to the door frame. Okay, so there's this idea of, of Menatzpach. Menatzpach is, uh, is five letters which have uh, ending letters. You know, yeah, it's an ending, a form of a uh, sophis, right? If, if every one of the Manatzpah letters has a sophis. So they are referring to din, again. So there's two, so you put together two of these doors with two of the hinges, so two times Manatzpah is Gematria uh, Tikka. So this idea of Tikka is, is, has something to do with the idea of, of taking two times Manatzpah, and that's what we're trying to um, to be mumtik, you know, to to uh, to fix that, to, to transform that, with the tekiah So That's the, the tekah b'shoifah gudel. This tekah is this idea of of, uh, of this taming the manatzma. So it's so it's tikah l'kav manatzma. The letters mem nun tzad pei chov all have a sofit, and they are in up in Kabbalah. That's those are letters associated with din. So also in this idea. And is. why they're associated with din? Why is that associated yeah. with din? I'm not sure. But anyway, two, two times Manat Smach is Tikka. Tikka is what we're doing with the Shaifa. Okay, so again, the Amin, which is also an idea of Yisoyed, is we're, we're, we're trying to create this, this uh, the Zivik. And the Zivik is through Yisoyed with Malchus. So that's the, that Malchus is going to be in the, on the level of Taka, which is two times the gematria of Manatzpah. Anyway, so now there's also the shame Adnai, Aleph Dalet Nun Yud, which is also associated with associated Malchus. And when you put it, uh, when, you, when you spell it out with the, 
uh, there's, there's some kind of atziruf. It was like a way of spelling the name um, Adna with, with, call, with, with it coming out yud vuv yud, which is the aleph. The aleph gets is broken down to yud and a vuv in between, and the yud on the bottom. So yud on top, yud on the bottom. You can also have with the dalit on the bottom. But when they spell it like this, it's what they put up in the middle and the yud and the yud on, on both sides. That together with the dalit and the nun, nun yud is um, is gematra mea. Comes out to be eight hundred. That. So that's the idea of the mea adunim and the mishkan, the hundred adunim. And um, so the kaf, which is also gematria a hundred, is uh, associated with this name Adna, which is the idea of the zivig with um, with uh, Malchus. So that's just kind of the gematria background. Okay, now Kakatavia the Lakim the Korina, the real the Lakim is that now we're, trying, we're talking about about elevating Malchus. The whole thing is about elevating the Shkina. This whole thing is remember we talk about punim punim. We're trying to Malchus is on the bottom. We're trying to raise it up, elevate it up to the level where it's you know face to face with with the, with the Ferris and then. And so the, the, the whole thing that we're trying to elevate Malchus. So that goes through various stages. It, goes through, it has to go step by step. So the first one is to get it to get it to raise, rise up to the level of uh, Netzachod Yisoy, which is the bottom three meters of, of the Zeranpin. So that's that. That's that level of Adna. Then we can, through this idea of a re, then it goes up to the level of Elkim, which is connected to Chesed Kviyutiferes. Okay, so that's that's raising up to a high level, and then so that's that's when it gets uh, elevated to the level of elakim. So that's when you got the hari elakim the kolrina. So this kolrina is going to elevate the the mouth is even higher. This level of of uh, it's, it's, this is called kolrina. Where exactly how rina fits in here, I'm not sure. But the idea is. Uh, ostensibly, that arena is associated with song. The key is it's also associated with the music, it's a musical instrument of the song. So, this idea of arena is that we're, and this whole thing is about, and we'll see this, we'll see later on, the whole thing is about elevating Malchus through to the level of Chesed, where it's like out of a Hava. It's not just, it's not just this, this Ima Sadin. Which was interesting because we usually consider Rosh Hashanah to be completely the idea of din, but really Urina, there's there's a um, there's an idea of gilu the roda. Yeah, right? the roda is supposed to be have a simcha through the trembling. What is what is uh, gilu the trembling? The roda, roda is trembling, right? So gilu the roda is this idea of, of, of rejoicing in the trembling. So the idea of Rina, the kind of song, and also Rina is it's associated song, with the levium. Yeah. Rina is associated with the levium. The levium also means sad and din, sad and so there's also this idea of, of music has, a, has like music is really the perfect example of Amtok as a dinner because it's a sweet thing, it's a beautiful thing, and at the same time it's a combination of din and, and chesed because it's a, the, the, the purpose of it is to bring person to tshuva and to loving Hashem and everything, but it's really the, the basis of it is, is, is in Buddha. So anyway, so that's uh, so because of the key is, uh, is actually a musical type so of expression. Arena is song or just happiness? Song. Song also. Yeah, yeah. Kolina, so the, the voice of the song. So that's and where, more where, is it on the same singing, level? We're, we're singing oh, out to Hashem. We're, we're, well, Hari is, is also is also the trua of the of the shofar, as we'll see. But um, but this this idea of how are we elevating the shechina? We're not elevating the shechina by clapping it down. We're elevating the shechina by raising it up, by inspiring it, bringing down the shina and the hoyer and this whole thing. The illumination of the shechina. We're, we're trying to we're trying to to with song. This is a you know it's a beautiful idea of expression of, of bringing something to a high level through through rejoicing. Okay, so this and and, and we're going to see there's a whole transformation that takes place even in the goyim that they also get turned around. So it's, 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 it's amazing, amazing. Uh, Concept. Okay. Ki Hashem Elyon Noira. So after that, after we've already the Shin has come up through that's a Yisoid, and it's also gone through Chesed Yisoid, Chesed Yisoid, Chesed Yisoid. Now it goes up to the level Chabad, the level of Bina Das, the level of Moichah. So that's, what, that's the next step. So that he says is the Ki Hashem Elyon Noira. Um, so Hashem. First of all, we're done. now we're dealing with the Shem Havai. So you have to really pay attention to what's going on with the Shemus here. We went through Elokim. And he said that even Adna. That, that Adna, the Shem Adna, was was referred was was alluded to in the in the word Kaf, and now we're going up to the Shem Adna, the uh, Shem uh, Havaya. Okay, okay, so that's Elia Noiru. So so he says that that 
the Hashem here, the, 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 in, in the Shem of Vay, it can be used in many different contexts. It comes out, almost every place you use it, it means something different. In this case, it says that that's referring to Chochma. Elyoin is Keser. That's pretty consistent. Elyoin is usually referring to Keser. The Kel Elyoin. Which is, but here he says that, that Keser is also on the level of Das. Which is, a, that's really a Chidosh. Because Das is usually below Chochma and Bina. And Das is also considered, I've seen it referred to as, as a, uh, similar to Yesoid in the sense that it's, it's the link between Chochmah and, and Bina, so the masculine and feminine. It's kind of a similar idea to Yesoid, that it's, it's bringing them together. But here he says that, that it also has a, ref, it has, has a relation to Das. It does have a relation in the sense that, that there's two ways of enumerating the spheres. You can either do it Keser, Chochmah, Bina, Chesed, Bina, and the rest down. Or you can substitute Das for Keser, and then you can do Chachma Bina of Das, Chesed uh, Bina and, and, and all the way down. So there's two ways of really reckoning those ten. Whereas if, if you can replace the Keser with Das, and they're, they're, so they're kind of interchangeable in a certain way. That's very, so that's maybe what you're referring to. So here the Keser is, 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 is referring to Das in a sense, and Noira is Bina. So there you go. So you have the three, uh, the three uh, elements of Chokhmah Bina Das in Hashem El Yoin Noira. Melech Gudoil Al Kol Huretz. Gudel, by the way, is usually a reference to Chesed. Gedila Gevira Tiferes. So Gudel is Kel Gudel. It says Gudel a Gudel a Giba Van Noira. That is usually the way it's said, right? So Gudel is referring to Chesed. Gevira Giba is Gevira and. and and Noira is Tiferes. Here he's saying that, that Noira is going on Bina, which is interesting. Let me see that. So Melek Gurul called her Uretz, and the Uretz is, of course, Malchus. So Malchus is now going to become higher, is going to be Tagdil, is going to be raised above Kol, uh, um, the Malchus. Yeah, it's going to be Tagdil, I'll call her Uretz. It means that that it's going to, to be, is rise up to all the way to the level of Chabad, which is, you know, way, way up there. Now, Az is not, not all the way up, but it's very high, okay? Az, Yad Ber Amim Tachteni. So now, when it's on such a high level, the Amim are already underneath it. So that's Yad Ber, Yad, um, Yad Ber Amim Tachteni. So the Yad Ber, what's the, what's the question there? Yad Ber... Yad there is Gematria Reshud Vuf, which is equal to Yira, which is also equal to Gvira. It's very interesting. Yira and Gvira are the same Gematria. And, and um, I think one off, whatever it says, is the coil. And it's also the Gematria of Yad Ber. So that's an idea of Gvira. Yad Ber. It's the same Gematria as Gvira and Yira. What's Yad Ber? Yad Ber is the word here. Yad Ber. So it means it's, it's an idea that, that now. Malchus is going to be elevated to the point where it's it's above and it's actually uh, kind of uh, controlling. Uh, oh, yeah, bear, bear. Yad, yad, bear. No, yad, 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 yad. A different vowel yad. means a plague. Oh, from from Devir. Devir. The plague on the so Devir. Devir. Yad, 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 bear, but I think oh, yeah, it's from plague or from speech. Plague. Well, I'm Devir. sure it's connected, but, if, but here he's using different contexts. He's saying that according to the Gematri, it's it's associated with Gemura. Gemura is the, right. So now he's. He's saying that, the, that, in a sense, the Amim, he's talking about the, the Sitra Achra, actually. He says, Amim and Lu'umim are the, the Zohar and the Nekev of the Sitra Achra. So now, Amim and Umim, what's, what's the difference? Amim and Lu'umim, they're talking about, they're, they're both translated Umim. nations. Okay. Right? But he's saying that that's referring to the Zohar and the Nekev of the Sitra Achra. The Sitra Achra is the whole enemy here, right? The, yeah, he's yeah. the whole one that's, that's coming with the, with the Kitri. So now, so in the concept of Rosh Hashanah, we are raising the Shechina up to the level where it's above the, the, uh, the Amen, where it's, it's, it's like looking down on them. So it's Le'imim Tachas Raglemi, that it's like under our feet. It's under the feet of the, of the, um, of, uh, the Shechina. So just one, sorry, one question about the word Yad uh, Midbar, is it related to desert? Midbar, Medaber? Uh, Everything's related. <laughs> exactly how, I don't know. So but, Midbar uh, is actually Midbar and Dibur and, and Yad Be, they're all, they're all connected. Right. Because it's just yeah, a hard to find the connection. Dever. Dever, right. Dever is one of the best ways. Because I always thought Midbar was Medaver. Because in the desert you can hear like Hashem. It's like it's. Well, he spoke in the desert. He spoke in the desert. So that was my. But this is actually makes more, you know, the desert. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so so um, so the idea is now that the, that the, again the shvira is on is on, on a higher level than the umas olam to the surim, and it's it's uh, it's controlling them. So now Yivcha, so he says, uh, what do you say here? Oh, that's, he says that that's the level of the times of Shlomo Melech, which is like the, the peak of, of uh, you know, that very short period of time. This, uh, uh, which of Weinberger says that, um, that uh, he always points out that the, the only time that in history, basically, that all the 12 Shutim were united and going to this Mikdash was for a period of like 23 years or something like that, 30 years or whatever. It was only basically during the, 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 uh, the reign the of Shlomo Melech. Oh, oh, okay. No, no, no. When they came to actually the Besam Mikdash, the Bais Rishon, it was only a very, very short period because right after, so like that, but from the time he built the Besam Mikdash, the time the Yorovim came and, and, and separated out the whole thing. 23 years Yeah, that was the only time they were really united. And then it was, and then the majority of Kali Sol was in the Osiris of you know, in the north. And and only Yehuda and Binyamin were going to the Beis Hamikdash that whole time. And some of Dan. What are you talking about, Dan? Shalosh sh- sh- Rivon. Huh? No, back. they didn't come. He wrote, wrote, didn't let them come. But they, 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 he they, built they, his they, own they, so-called Beis Hamikdash. Yeah, but then they were able to make it down after there was a decree that was that was overcome or something. It was a, it was part of I think test of Tevis. They said two Tevis. This five things that happened. One of them was that that uh, the decree was overturned where he used to, he had soldiers posted not letting people go down to Yisrael. Right. I think then they were able to go down. I don't think so. I don't know. 23 years. Wow. Well, this is what he said, and he's fairly knowledgeable on the subject. <coughs> anyway, so um, so unfortunately, it was a very short period of time. But that that period of time, they say that you know about Shlomo Melech's reign, that that was the the, the Yoreach was the b- b- Milua. It was like you know the full moon all the time, or something. It was like it was an incredible uh, period of time where the Yidden were mamish. Over all of their opponents, they were looked up to. They were, they had, you know, the, the, the awe of all the almost all of them. I mean, how do you make all those those uh, those marriages with the, with the foreign princesses? Or like everybody was trying, was was, was masking to give a shout out for them. It was like it was like incredible. Uh, this is down for so, uh, Shlomo Melech, I believe, uh, was Nifter at fifty six. At fifty two. Fifty two. So, uh, so you have to find out when. Twenty three. How old was he when he when he came? No, the question is when when he finished. How old he was when he finished the basement? No, when he. Oh, how old was he? Yeah, how old was he? Yeah, I don't. Know. I don't know, I, I can't, I, I'm not promising it's exactly 23, but it was 30-something. Like 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 yeah. No, it's also bringing the Abode Zora and the negative energy. Yeah, it's a he, he, says, he says that the... He says at that time that, oh, that the 70 Surim were all Nichna. They were, they were, according to this, he says yeah. that the whole, that at the time that Shlomo Melch reigned, the, all the 70 surim, the 70 uh, uh, were all michna, they were all like uh, subordinate to him, subdued under him. And the Sitra Achu was, was, was like a koif before Udi. It was like, you know, you could see that it was just imitation. Everything was an imitation of him. They were imitating him instead of, unfortunately, he didn't, imitating the Goyim. Then they were, they were imitating the Yid. Whatever, anyway. Chakach, okay, after that, Yiv Chaluni Esnach Luseni Esko Ol Yaakov Esher Uhev Selo. Beautiful, beautiful posik. Um, that he will choose us as his inheritance and uh, the Goin Yaakov, like the genius of Yaakov that he loves, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful expression there. So he says the Malch is now here, the Malch is going to go all the way up to Keser. So that's really pretty much the top. I'm going to talk about Erech Anpin, which is also such with Keser, the Keser, but that all goes all the way up there. And then will it be this level of Yishtam Shri Yishnei Malochem Bekeser Echad. So he's talking about Mamash the Geula. You're talking about, you know, you're talking about they're, they're, they're going to be sharing the same crown, you know, Malchus and and and, uh, and, and, and their Anpin, whatever, and the Erech is going to go up to the side. So Yivchar is Gematri Ein Hei, which is the, um, no, I'm sorry, Gematria Yivchar is Gematria with the Koilo Erech. So Erech is a sort of Kesem, because Erech is something like, uh, Erechanpin, that's like the highest level of Tarim Keser, so that's, you see the Gematri Yivchar to Erech, Eslat Luseini, that is going to be our Nachla, our Nachla is going to be on the, so our Nachla is going to be on the level of Erech, which is this level of, of uh, Keser. Um, so he says, Go in Yaakov, now he's also talking about Keser. Unless he's talking, unless he's saying, uh, no, Kesser, yeah, Kesser is Rampin, right. 
So I mean, ya, Gaon Yaakov is like, Gaon is like this, Gaon is like this very, very high thing. So the, the ultimate the height of <coughs> Yaakov goes all the way up to Keser. <coughs> okay, now we're going to talk a little more about the Tekiyas, the role of the Shoifer and all this. Ula Elohim Bisriya Hashem Bekol Shoifer. So Ula Elohim is again, it says it right out that the Elohim, the Shina, is going to be at this elevation. It's going to be elevated through this idea of Tria. So what's the Tria? So Malchus now is, is it says it's that's so, so um, just my, why are you saying okay it's always say Tirua but you say it's Siroa and now you're saying Tirua why are you, why you different uh, because in this context it's Bisriya Bisriya so it's it's a Suf instead of a Tuf and and the second and other time time says Trua Trua okay. it's Trua so it's Tria. Israelis, I think, um, would say always with the yeah. Dagesh. Yeah. Bit yeah. 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 Sephardi. Yeah. Sephardi Havura. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so here Elohim is now rising up to the level, so it says that Malthus, which is, you know, the Shechina, is, is <coughs> like Keneged the Chachma Gvir Tiferes, which is that? Which is uh, you know those three top ones, but that's also Kenegel Chabad. So the so again it's like three three three. So the three the three corresponds to three the three so Tzach Lachim Bein Adas corresponds to Chesed Bein Tiferes and that affects that that's corresponds and that's a part of the circle. So they're all it's it's, it's it's three sets of three, right? Yeah. So he says that that is now so 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 now Bitria Bitria is illusion Reim. Reim is a uh, is, uh, is 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 uh, friends, you know, like uh, loved ones, beloved, beloved ones. So the Zoch and the Keva, which is called Ahavas Doidin, the love of, of lovers, whatever, and then uh, is, is is talking to Ab- uh, talking about Ahav uh, Ahavas. Okay, so this is two different ideas. There's Zoch and the Keva. Which is referring to Zer Anpi, the six meters and Malchus. That's one type of zivit that's taking place. And that's called Ahabas Doidim. Then there's another kind of Ahabas called Ahabas Reim, and that's between Abba Ve'ema, the Chachman Bina, which is the other Zokhan de Keva. Reim with an Aleph or an Ayin? Huh? Reim with an Ayin. Ayin. Yeah. And what's so the derivative of that word? It's also related to a unicorn, a Reim. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Reya, 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 People love each other, so it's the ace. So, so in the time it's it's going up to Chabad, which is the level of, of Abba the Ema, right? Abba the Ema. So it's the the Chacham Bina. Then it's going to also have this Zafar and Nekeva, which is a Havas Reim. So that's the Tria Havas Reim. So in other words, it's it's. It's a little bit unclear if it's because it's going up to the level of, of the Chagas, the that that is that's going to lead to this higher level of 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 uh, Bina. That's what it sounds like. That the two the two types of Ahava are related. So that's all with Kol Shoifer. So he says that the the Zer Anpin is going to be always with the Moichin. This is going to be like we said the whole time. All the so many people we're talking about that we're we're asking Hashem to to illuminate the Moichin that the, the intellect should be you know should be shining on us and we should be you know this level of, of uh, inspir- inspiration and il- il- illumination. And here he says that it's going to be at that point since you're talking about now a, a unification of the of, of the of the Moichin of Chabad with with Chesed Affairs with the Zeranf and everything, it's all gonna be united. So there's always gonna be this constant you know, it's always gonna be constant illumination. There's never gonna be this period of of, uh, of uh, lack of, of understanding or whatever, or confusion, which we talk about so often in the rest of the uh, Kapitla. So there's gonna be like constantly illuminated. And then then you get to the Kol Shoifar, the coil is so this is this idea of Elakim Shoifar the Shoifar Yutuka that's the Shavuot Hagudel, and that's which is a combination of the Chagas and, and, and Ima with, with, the, with the Bina. So that's all united in the Shavuot. The Zehi, that's what's talking about. Zamri Elokim Zameri, Zamri Lamalkeni Zameri. So here again, we're talking a few times. He, he goes, he puts the same words with different Shemus. So he uses the same, almost the same phrase, Zamri Zameri, and he puts one time Elohim and one time Elkani. So it's, they're obviously mean two different things. So he says that the, that the Zamri is Gematria with the with the Oasis Noah, a, a river. 
So a nur is something which connects. You know, that, like a nur is connects one person to another. Nur, nahar. Nahar. Right. So a nahar is something that flows and it connects one place with another. Right. It ships. You can, you know, the water flows from one place to the other. It's something which connects one place with another. So that's the idea of, of yisoid. So so zameria has a connection with the idea of yisoid. So again, this is the this is the chibur. This is the two. This is the the yisoid of, of the two ideas that they're going to be connected. And the connection takes a little, this is the whole idea of, of uh, maybe I haven't, I haven't expressed it enough, but why would it make such a big deal about this soil? Because the whole thing is relationships. The whole thing is going on, the history of the world, you know, our whole tachlis is bringing things together, two different things together. That's why there's an address this week about koirach. Koirach is the idea, idea of machloikis, that you're dividing things into parts, into making yeah. divisions, right. separating things apart. Whereas, whereas our idea is to unify things. So Hashem, by creating the world with ten maimuras, created separate things, pieces, and it's our job to put them together, and to make shulam between the pieces, and put, put everything together, to bring them closer. But Goyab was out to, to separate things apart, and that's, and that's a lot of what, what the Sitrach was out to do, is to make makhloikis, to, 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 to divide things, as opposed to bring things together. So we're trying to be inclusive, you know, try, try, to, try, to, try to always be making shulam, and to try to bring things together. So that's the idea why, why Yisoyed is so important. This idea that Tzadik is called Yisoyed, Tzadik is Soyed Oilam, because the Tzadik is there to bring things together to bring Hashem closer to the Klali so and Klali so closer to Hashem that's why he's always bringing, he's talking to Bob he's talking to Hashem in the favor of Klali Sol and he's trying to you know, get rid of the, the, the Kitrig and he's, he's trying to bring you know to, to, to inspire him to be close to Hashem so that's, that's he's, he's the goal between he's the, he's the link so we're always trying to make these links so that's the idea of Yisoy so Zazam Elohim so everything should be to, should, should the Zami is trying to make this Yichet and the Zivit and the Zoka and the Keva and that becomes Avaya Elohim. So Avaya Elohim is one of these very big, is a, is a very big Indian of Yichud, because we're connecting, Avaya is also, also often refers to the, the middle of Chesed, and Elohim is more the middle of Gura, so it's also the idea of Tukas Adinim, which is also the idea of bringing Shulam, because you're, you're, you're subordinating Gura to Chesed, or Yira to, you know, to Ahava, you know, that's how it all, it all lines up. So that's Zami Malkeda looking at Zamiri. So that's uh, at the time that it's going up to this level of Chabad, which is the, the level of the by, of the of the Beis Mikdash Rishon, the first Beis Mikdash. So then Chok Mabin and Das, which are called Zakhan Ekeva Havaya, Avay Ekin. Havay Ekin is, is another big big uh, uh, zivuk, you know, uh, because that's that's Zakhan Ekeva. Also, is the idea of Havaya is uh, is the whole. Zerampin and then Ekya is uh, usually referred to Bina. So those so two I don't things. understand the word Ekya. Ekya is Aleph, Aleph He Yudke. Aleph Ke, Aleph Ke Yudke. Instead of, instead of Yudke Vovke, oh, okay. the Shem Ekya is Aleph Ke Yudke. So it's that's another. That's, Hashem. A, that's, that's when Hashem said to, to Moshe Ben about the snap. So uh, Ekya okay. Shem Ekya. Okay. So that's, yeah, a, yeah. that's one of the shames yeah. of the Bible. So that's what he called himself that. So yeah. <laughs> he revealed that, that shame to us. Okay, so now three times. The, uh, the the gematria of Havaya Ekya comes out to be, which is which is the idea of, of, of Chabad with um, together with Chabad, right? So that is together with six Shemus comes out to be so it's three times forty seven is one hundred forty one plus six is one hundred forty seven. Now somehow he says that this comes out to be the gematria of Malkinu with the Koilo. And it doesn't stim with me because the Malkani with the coil is 157. This is only 147. So either he made a miscalculation or else he left out maybe that's like together with the 10 spheres or whatever. There's some kind of a something else there. Wait a second. Uh, we're missing. Malkano is 147. How is that? 46. Mem is 40, 30. 70 okay. plus 20 is 90, 90 and 50 is 140. Okay. So you're right. I got it wrong myself. Yeah. My mistake. Thank you. I Thank you. Now, now I. It, well, it's still 146. But I guess you have to. Keep no, no, he says with the, the word. With the coil. Meaning, coil means the word. Yeah. How, how did he? How did he find all this stuff? How, 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 yeah, I, I'm trying to follow. Like, <laughs> so, what do you mean with the word? Okay, so we've got one for what one? If it's 146 one, if it's, plus if it's to add one, one more. One. For the just word it's, itself. It's, the word itself is one. Like one. In a gematria, you're allowed to do that. You're allowed to do a lot of things. So you one that's one thing that's very so common. Is this one yeah. off, you just yeah. add one for the code. Which is so sometimes you add all the letters. Yeah. So you need to get yeah, like, yeah, so yeah. you can add all the letters of the word. Right, right. Very good, very good. Right. Anyway, so that's, I don't know why I'm going to 
didn't see that. But I was hoping somebody here would come up with where I was wrong. Very good. Okay, so now that makes sense. So Malkani now is uh, connected the. But he got one fifty-seven. Uh, uh, he got one fifty-seven. I was wrong. Oh no, but you said he was a. Oh, he he got one. I was wrong. He said one forty-seven, which is correct. No, no, but before that you, you said, made a mistake. Oh, I made a mistake. Oh, I thought you. I thought you. I thought the writer made a mistake. No, no, I thought he made a mistake, but I thought I was right. Oh, now oh. I found out I'm wrong, and he's oh, right, okay, okay. which is good. Oh, okay. That's what it's supposed to be. Okay. <laughs> okay, so he mela kolu uras elokim zamri masku. Okay, so now again we're playing around with these words here. We got Melech, we've got Uritz, we've got Alakim, we've got Zamri, and we've got Maskil. So what do we do with all those with all those words? So Zamri Maskil, so afterwards, this is afterwards, when 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 Mal when, when Malchus the Shin is gonna go all the way up to the level of Keser, then it's gonna be this level of two Malochim are going to share the same crown, and then it's gonna be called Havaya Ekya. Right, that that's going to be this unification of the, of the shames of Bayan Ekya, and that's Gematria 47, as we said before, which is the Rashi tables of Zamri Maskil. Interesting. And Mas Zamri Maskil is the Gematria. And I don't know if I'm allowed to say this word. It's a particular a particular Malach that's associated with Keser, the Malach's name, Aleph Kuf Suf Reish Aleph Lamed. That's the name of a, of a malach, okay? And that's with, with the coil, that's the, that is the gematria of Zamri Maskil. So that's a reference to Keser, Keser Kel. That's basically what the word, what the, that's what the word is, Aleph and then Keser Kel, okay? So Kel is gematria with the coil covered. Right, you covered with the coil, with the coil is gematria Kel, right? Which is also the idea of Malchus. Malchus and Kovit are, are related. And that is related to this uh, this name, Aleph Keser Kale. To the Keser with Zot and Kale. Okay, Kim Melech Elokim al Goyim. Molech Elokim al Goyim. So again, so Melech, in this case, he doesn't say specifically what Melech is in this context, but, but Uritz is Malchus. Melech, he says, relates to the word Kol. So it's, kind of, it's like Melech Kol HaUritz. Kol is, is, is an Ampin and Uritz is Malchus. Oh, that's it. It's in the Pesach. All right. So Melech Kol HaUritz. So Kol is, is an Ampin and, Malchus, and Uritz is Malchus, which is, makes sense. And that's, that's, that's um, combined with Elohim, which is uh, this idea of, of going up to the level of Chassid Vert Feres, which is uh, Avai Elohim. That's, that's one Yichud of Avai Elohim. And then we've also got the... the, the uh, now we've got, uh, through the other thing, we've got the by uh, Ekya. Okay. Right. Malach Elohim al Goyim. Elohim Yushal al Kisei And And you see that his, his repeated use of the, of the shame Elohim shows that this is Mama Shem Tukas Adinim, because Elohim is usually the, 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 um, the shame of Dinim. Right? But now we've transformed it around, so now it's, it's, it's together with Melech, and together with it's all, it's all one thing now. It's all working... In the right direction. So, <clears throat> okay. So, um, so he says that, yeah. So, okay. So now we're talking about the goyim themselves are going to be subordinated to the malchus l'shem. So it says molech elakim al goyim that the elakim is going to be on the goyim elakim yushal elakim culture and then he's going to mamish sit on his throne like <clears throat> the kiss I covered. That's mamish the, the you know everything's going to come to a real shleimus here. Now, <clears throat> he says a whole explanation there, which is related to this, this that I'll tell you one to give over. He says that the difference between a melech and a moishel is that a melech reigns the roots. People take on, people take on his, his malchus willingly. They, they do it together, well, yeah, as opposed to being forced into it. Huh? The other one's like a dictator. Right. Yeah, like so, so as opposed to people, so if a person, if, if a king is taken on willingly by his, his, his uh, subjects, so then they, they do it, they, they, they want to serve him. And that's, that's a, 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 a beautiful relationship between the king and his people. So, so and the Yidin, when they took on the Torah, they took it on Baruch, they took it on Willem, they were forced into it. Right? So, Malchisa Baruch and Kibbe Alem, it says in the Narvis, in the Narvis, it's in the it feels Mara. In Malchisa Baruch and Kibbe Alem, they took on Hashem's Malchis Baruch. Okay, so the Umas Oilam, for the Umas Oilam, he's called Moshe. As it says, Kibbe Hashem Amlicha Moshe Bagoy. And a moishel is someone who rules by by force. It's not it's not taken on willingly. 
So, because it also says about Oli Moshiim, Ahasiyan, Holy Son of Hashem, Amlicha. So then, at that point, at the Holy Son of Hashem, the Melech Al Kol Huuret. So then, they are going to take the Umas Oilam are also going to take Hashem's kingship on the roots. Now they're going to be in Kabul willingly the Malchus of Hashem. That's the big difference. Yeah, the Goyim. And that's the Yishmi of Kesem Melicha. That's talking about the Goyim. This is in Rosh Hashanah, you say that Piyot. In Rosh Hashanah, you say the Piyot. That ends with that the Yishmi of Kesem Melicha. What does that start that one? Yeah, that's the Yishmi of Kesem Say it all over and over again. It's an olive base. Okay, so that's so that's me, so that's melech for the king al goyim. So it becomes a melech for the goyim also. Um, that even al goyim is going to be a bit of melech. Okay, so this is what I wanted to say it's about this this work from the teacher. So he says about about pikas, the idea of, of what was the what was the avera when Moshe hit the rock. So this is always so there's two there's two interpretations of what what was going on there. Um, so he says that the two uh, the, 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 the Rashi and the Rambam so one says that he that I'm not sure which one is which but one says that it was the Vedra was that he hit the rock and the other one when the Shem told him to speak to it and the other one was twice. that twice. he did it twice he did it twice actually but okay so and the other one says that it was because he said Shini Naha Moira Shini Naha Moira he, he called the Yidin Moira he called them like rebellious I was like a, a, a then uh, then uh, 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 turn the point and he put them down. He got angry and he put them down. Okay, so what what is it? This is an amazing thing. He says that there's two different kinds of people that say, that that say to Kocha to Klal Yisrael, right? One of the two different approaches. One he's usually talking about himself because this was his own approach. You can talk about it to the Eden how high a source they have and they come from such an elevated place above the Kisei Kovid and how they have such an opportunity to serve Hashem and Hashem loves them so much and that they have such potential and they're, you know, it's how beautiful the mitzvahs are and all, all the positive things that you can possibly, you know, do to bring them up and to elevate them. Hashem is a that they should, they should want to serve Hashem willingly. And that's the idea of that they should really want to do it. Then the other approach is to get down on them and bias them and, and, to, and to make them feel guilty how bad they are. And then they feel like they're forced into it because they're, they're, they feel so terrible about themselves and how, how terrible they are. So they feel like, you know, we're not zoiche to serve Hashem. It's like, you know, we, can't, we have no choice. We're, 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 you know, afraid of punishment and this kind of thing. So, that's, so, so he says that the difference is that when, 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 the 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 Manik, Sadi, builds up the Eden and talks about all their milas, so then and brings them to do to serve Hashem willingly. Then the whole Bria also wants to serve to serve Hashem willingly, and they want to serve the Eden also because they see that just as the Eden are serving Hashem willingly, they're going to serve the Eden willingly. But if the, he gets down on, a, on, on, on the Eden, the Eden is serving Hashem by because they're forced into it, then the whole Bria has to be forced into it too. Because first of all, they see that the, that, that the Eden are, 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 are not so great. You know, they don't really want to do Hashem to serve the and, and, and they are having a... And, and, and they feel like, well, why should we serve the Eden? So this was what was going on when, when Moshe Rabbeini yelled at the Eden when he, when, he, when, he, when he put them down. So then the, 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 the rock, which is the Bria, was was uh, was also not willing to say that we had to be forced into it. Very interesting. So so had to be hit in order to do it. So 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 it comes out that you had to be forced, right? So 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 when Hashem said you didn't, you weren't maktish my my Hashem by by talking to the rock, right? Because if you talked to the rock, you would have done it willingly instead of being forced yeah. into it. You would have shown that that's the way that you didn't have to. You didn't would have learned from that also, and the whole the whole thing would have, would have, would have come uh, together. Little thing. So he was saying basically the same thing that that till now the goyim had to serve Hashem he was by force and, and there's a moishe. But the sibluvo, when the whole moishe comes, the goyim are also willing to come and serve Hashem. So how can we affect this uh, bria, this elevation in the world? It's a king. A king, a king can do it, or a ruler can do it, or the whole am will do it, or this is when moishe comes. This is what's going to be. But how can we affect it now on ourselves? By being good, <laughs> doing a sense. Will dress willingly, you know. It's, 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 everybody has to do. We've got to carve other people as much as we can. That's, that's how we uh, bring about uh, bring the shit now, right? Okay, so now, 
So I thought that was a really beautiful answer. Okay. Um, amazing. Uh, amazing. Uh, okay, so he says, he says that now, yeah, so the king Yoshalak, he say culture. Now Hashem is going to sit on his holy throne. Right, he's a culture, he's a kisei shell culture, and that's Abba, that's what we're talking about, Chokma is a Kodesh, so that's, uh, that's a kisei culture, he's talking about Chokma. Midibe amin em amin the esoti ano leke abruham. So that's Zer Anpin now is going to, now the whole Zer Anpin, that's the six meters of Zer Anpin, are going to be elevated to the level of Chokma. So you see what's going on here. Everything is being, being, just everything from the bottom up. It's, 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 it's going, it's all being elevated up to the very highest levels, and it's all being unified on this level of, uh, of Keser, you know, and Das, and Keser, and it's all, being, uh, it's all going way up there. So that's, so even at the end, so then Amim, which is there, which is also referred to Zer Amkin, the six meters, okay, so that's going to be level, going up to the level of Abba, of Chachma, uh, and it's Nasofi. Amalekei Abraham. So this Ami Nesufi, he says, he's talking about the, the Birir. Nesufi is, is going to be gathered up. So all the Ditsutsis that have been spread around, it's the idea of the Birir, that we have to go through this sifting out process, this filtering process to get the, the, the Ditsutsis back to their source. So that's also going to happen. That's the Nudibi Ami Nesufi, the, 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 the uh, these Ditsutsis were spread around all the nations. Those are going to be gathered up. And then it's Amalekei Avruham, then that's going to be a level of Elekei Avruham, which he says is also referring to Keser. And that's uh, even higher than Keser. It says that the Shoma and the Shoma, you're talking about the Hida. I bet you're talking about the Hida a few times. The level of the Hida, the Shoma the Hida. So that's what this is talking about. The Shoma and the Shoma. The soul of the soul and the shama and the shama. So we'll that's, come down. that's that's this is the level of the Yechida, the Elokei Abraham. So yeah, which is the Gematria, which is the Gematria with the two Koyim roots. Elokei Abraham is 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 the Gematria roots, which is also Keser. Rotsim is Keser. Who yeah. knows that? But that's the first the first Sfira that this was uh, was created was a, was the, the Sfira of, of Rotsim. Hashem desired to create the world. The will was the first thing. So that that's the Sfira of Keser. Um, and that gets you up to the level of, 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 of the Neshama of Yechida, which is the highest level of the Neshama. The Neshama really is, is, it is our roots and become one, comes one with Hashem's roots, and that's the level of Yechida. That's, and Yechida means one. It's together. One thing. We become one with Hashem. Then it's the Lokim Magine Eretz Lord Naam. So there's a whole explanation of the idea of Magine Eretz, this idea of Mugen. So, he's, so he is when Hashem raised, uh, raises us up, or raises the Shekhinah up to his level. So then it's this is the, the um, it says in the, this is the Kavona of, of the of Tfilis Mincha of Shabbos. Shabbos Mincha is, is this Kavona. That is the idea of, of the Zeranpin is is is, uh, is shining with the, with the three three times the name Kale. and that's three times the gematria. So three times the gematria of Mugen, uh, which is the uh, which is the kavon of Mugen of Ruam, is um, what is it? Mugen is is three times chaos. Mugen is 90, 93, right? Yeah, Mugen is 93, and that's three times the shame kale. So that is talking about the, the Mugen of Ruam and Mugen Dovid. So, um, and there, and that's all illuminated. So going out to the Kesar again, so Magine Eretz, the Malchus is going to be Meir, at the level of Magine Eretz, so the level of Mugen. Which is this idea of three times kill. And the oid is the OCS Udam, which is also the, the um, gematria of Ma, which is also the gematria of the, of, of the Shem, Shem Abai, with the Alpin, which is the idea of Zer Anpin. So it's Naale, and it's going to be all elevated to the Mokama Erech Anpin, which is Keser. And uh, Ma is also, yes, Ma is, is the, the gematria of Ma Oid. Naale, so Anpin is going to go all the way up. Malchus, and, which is the gematria of two times, we call it the Zuken. 
so can there's also the Adikna, the, the beard of, of the Mishlosim of the Tzadach, the Beret Anke, there's the competitive beard, which is like the Zikna, the Zoken, also the word Zoken itself is a beard. Illuminating, like the Bidina Eretz, and afterwards, Zafar Nekev is going to go up this level of Dikna, of Eretz Ampen, and like they were at the, at the time of Kolos the Torah. So they, they, they will be serving the Torah, they're on this level of Eretz Ampen, and then it'll be Shtam Shashtam Ketzerech, and Shkav and Shkav Shmeida. And then the last question, Nedivei Amin Ne'esfu, the nobles of the Gentiles are gathered together. Mo'ud Nala, he is extremely exalted. The Midrash relates that when the sages, Rabbi Eliezer, Rabbi Yehoshua, and Rabbi Gamliel were in Rome, the Senate decreed, quote, 30 days from now, no Jew will exist anywhere in the world. There was one God-fearing gentle <laughs> Roman senator, the counselor of the emperor, who revealed this plot to the rabbis. They were terribly distraught, but the senator encouraged them, saying confidently, Fear not, the God of the Jews will save them within these 30 days. After 25 days elapsed, the senator told his wife of the planned genocide. She exclaimed, Whoa, there are only five days left to nullify this decree. The righteous woman convinced her husband to commit suicide. Suicide, lay to bed, so that the Senate would adjourn for 30 days of mourning. Thus, the evil decree would be unfulfilled. When the sages consoled the senator's widow, they were very upset that he had martyred himself without having had the spiritual benefits of circumcision and conversion in the mikvah. The widow comforted them by offering proof that the senator had in fact undergone a secret circumcision and conversion. The rabbis then applied this process to him, explaining, Nedive Amin Ne'esfu, the no, no Gentile nobles are gathered together, the nation of the God of Abraham, the converts, for gods are the shields of the earth. Your husband deserves many shields from Hashem, because Abraham put his life in danger only after God promised, I am your shield. Gracious 15, but this noble Gentile martyr sacrificed his life without any divine assurance, and because of that, Ma'ud Nala, he is greatly exalted even more than Abraham Avinu. Wow. What is his name? Who? Doesn't give it. And what is his name? So what, what, was his, uh, what was the senator's significance in terms of the decree? Did, Who? Did he have anything to do with the decree itself? No. He was just one of the senators? Yes. Mm -hmm.